Hi, and thanks for joining me today for how to monopolize Google local search ranking. Just moved out here to Tampa from New York City about three months ago, and I was doing a local search for a keyword for uh, AC repair Tampa. I wanted to see what was going on in the local search. And I came across this client, he, uh, this, this website. He's not my client, they're not my client. And I saw one hour air Florida. Sometimes it fluctuates between the first and the second pay and, and the second ranking. So I see this client and I said to myself, because I've done this for other clients in New York, I've said, why are they in the first and second place? I'd like to see them first place, second place, fourth place, sixth place, seventh and eighth. So when somebody's doing AC repair Tampa, puts that in the search, they keep seeing Scott's one hour air conditioning and heating repair. Well, how can we go about doing this? Well, some people may say, well, you set up different domain names and set up different websites. That could be super costly. And you're starting off with a domain name that has a trust factor of zero. So we want something with a little authority. Well, what I would do, and I'm going to show you how to do it, is I'm going to show you how to monopolize the Google search rankings for local. And you're just going to do it for one keyword because it's a lot of work. And you're just going to do it for the season. So for example, if I was Scott's, I would start this campaign in January because by March, I want to make sure, I want to give myself 60 days that when somebody does a search, AC repair Tampa, that I'm the only choice. Or I come up so many times. So for example, you'll see my website, One Hour Air Florida. You'll see my YouTube video underneath. You'll see my Yelp list listing. You'll see my Facebook page. You'll see my Manta, my Merchant Circle. Any other directory that I want to list in that first 10, all I'm trying to do is push my competitors out of the first 10. And that when people keep seeing Scott's one hour air in the first 10, they see it four or five times, if we're that lucky. And we could push our competitors out of the top 10, then we're going to be the only choice. It takes a lot of maintenance because Google is always changing their algorithm. And they're always uh, making slight changes so you need to stay up on it or you need somebody on your staff to stay up on it. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to get started and you could do this on your own. Probably take a weekend, probably take a couple of hours, but I'm going to show you how to set everything up. The first thing that I would want to do is I would want to set up my YouTube video. So I would go to Google and I would type in my, my domain name one hour air florida actually my brand name and i would scroll down and i'd see if i had any videos does does scott's one hour air have any videos already ranking and when i did my search i saw a video that was already ranking but it needs to be um it needs to be altered because the video title says saving you time at one hour air Tarpon Springs Florida so since that's the first video that's ranking I would change the title to AC repair Tampa Florida and then what I would do after the uh, dash is I would put the phone number why would I put the phone number because when somebody's doing a Google search Sometimes they don't even click the video. Sometimes they just see that your AC repair and the phone number's right there in the title. So what I would do, and I'll provide a link to a document, is I would put air condition repair Miami, Flor uh, uh, Tampa, Florida, then I would put the phone number. And then in the description, I would put between 500 and 1,000 words 
you could go to a website called iWriter and you could let them know that you're trying to rank for AC Repair Tampa and they will write buy the $10 article from iWriter and they will write a very good article on AC repair in Tampa or whatever your keyword is uh, Seattle plumbing or uh, New York law firm okay so this article is not going to be perfect uh, you're going to need to write it but it's just a head start because to sit down and write a thousand word article takes a while so just go over to iWriter I'll put a link in the description and have them write a 500 to a thousand word article use the most expensive I think it's ten dollars and then uh, you'll take that article and you will paste it in your video now this isn't a video on how to upload a YouTube video all those videos are already on YouTube if you don't have a video already on YouTube I'm not gonna show that part you're gonna have to try to find a video on YouTube on how to upload your video I'm assuming you already know how to do that the next program that you want to get is a program called TubeBuddy that's T-U-B-E B-U-D-D-Y TubeBuddy is a uh, Chrome extension that when you watch YouTube videos it shows you what tags your competitors used so sometimes people want to rank their video and they use they use tags on their video that um, aren't relevant or they use too many so by using a program called TubeBuddy it'll show you the tags that your competitors are using and you could just copy them or you could alter them slightly okay so I showed you how to write the title you want to make sure you write the title in the keyword and use your phone number then you want to write preferably a thousand words in your description in your YouTube description and then you want to make sure that you use um, uh, you, you want to make sure that you use title tags but take a look at your competitors what title tags they're using so for example if you go over to YouTube and you type in AC Repair Tampa you want to see who's coming up first in YouTube and see what title tags they're using okay so you take a couple of their title tags and you put them in yours you got your thousand word description you wrote your title for your for your uh, video you used the keyword and you used your phone number because you realize some people won't click the video they're just gonna look in the Google search results and see your phone number and call you straight from there and now you have two listings under AC repair you have your website and you have your YouTube video now if you don't have a YouTube video you're going to go over to a site called Fiverr F-I-V-E-R-R -R, and you're just going to look for a spokesperson video anybody will do whoever best fits your company I don't have a preference I use different people and you'll send them over the script that iWriter wrote if you don't have a video and you'll have them read either a portion of that or have them read the whole thing it's really not important to have a five minute video anywhere between uh, a minute or two should be fine okay so if you don't already have a video go over to Fiverr take your iWriter script that they wrote edit it down make sure they say the keyword in the beginning and send it over to Fiverr and in a day or two they'll send you back the video and you upload it to YouTube okay so we have the website the one hour air in 
already ranking. Now you have your YouTube video ranking. Now you may say to yourself, well, I uploaded the YouTube video and it still didn't rank. Even though I put the keywords in, I put it a thousand word description, I used the right tags. So I like to use, I like to use the website Fiverr. There are people that, I don't think you can run a whole SEO agency on Fiverr. I just think there are small tasks that you could do. I would never run links or embeds or anything to my website but I have no problem running them to a YouTube video or running them to my Yelp page or my Manta or my Merchant Circle page. Because you know what? If you want to blast and take down my Manta page, who cares? I really don't care. All it's going to do is if it works, it's going to power up my Manta, my Merchant Circle, my Yelp page because it's going to bring up the domain authority because I'm running links at it. We'll get to that in a little while. So we're still speaking about YouTube at this point. So you want to go over to Fiverr. You want to type in, in Fiverr, you want to type in video embeds. There's a fella named Libero 100 video embeds. I've used them before. I don't endorse anybody. I don't get a kickback from anybody. The only reason why I'm saying is that I know this person's reliable. So I've used them in the past. I use this fella, Libero. I send over the video and he embeds my link into uh, uh, 100 other Web 2.0s. What does that show Google? It shows Google that people are interested in this YouTube video and they're posting, posting it on their pages. So I do that. The next thing I do and you got to be careful with this, is I run some links, I throw some links at that particular video. Now, whatever you do, don't, don't point 500,000 links at your YouTube video, especially since it's brand new. It's a direct signal to Google that you're trying to increase the ranking of that YouTube video and basically what they're going to do is they may shut your channel down. You may lose all your videos. So just be careful with that. Now you could go over to eBay and you could buy an, a, an aged YouTube channel. I think it's about $10. And you could use that as a scrap, meaning put your videos on that YouTube, on that aged YouTube video and blast the shit out of it with links. And you know what? If they take it down, who cares? It's not your, it's not your, uh, um, your main YouTube channel, if you know what I mean, right? So you could do that. If you want to get a little risky, don't use your YouTube channel. Go buy a YouTube channel, a second YouTube channel, and put all your videos there. Save your videos on your hard drive. So if they take down your YouTube channel, you just take the videos and you re-upload them to your channel. But I'm not making it that complicated. I'm just giving you an option. Use your YouTube channel. Just remember, you need to use your YouTube channel. Have respect for your YouTube channel. Don't throw 500,000 links at your YouTube channel, at your YouTube video that you're trying to rank. They're gonna take it down. So I like using this fella. I like uh, using, oh, on Fiverr, I like using uh, Ozzy UK. And he builds links. Uh, I think he builds 20 or so links on high uh, PR SEO authority websites. And all I'm showing Google is that links are being built using that keyword, AC repair, and that when they click the link, it's going to AC repair Tampa. And when they click that link, it's going to my video, right? So. Eh, every week, 10 days or so, I'll buy a gig from this fella, Ozzy, and I will throw some links at that particular video. Then the next thing I'll do, because I'm crazy, is I'll, I'll send it over to um, this fella I like using. I don't even know if it's a guy or a girl. I don't know. Let me just see. Oh, Jennifer... Alston, Jennifer Alston. And what I do is I send her 
my video and then what she does is she writes a small little article and then posts it on her Facebook, her Twitter, her LinkedIn and a hundred other uh, social media accounts. And what does this show Google? This show Google that people are talking about it on social. All right, so let's kind of recap because I know this is a lot of stuff and there's a lot of other things that we could do, but I'm just trying to give you the basics to rank your, your YouTube video. You're creating a video if you, don't, if you don't already have it. You're titling it with the keyword and the phone number. You're going over to iWriter and you're having that content written. Then you're going over to Fiverr, and in Fiverr, you're getting the embeds, you're getting the backlinks, you're getting the social media uh, sharing, right? So you're gonna share it on social. And then you're just gonna sit back and wait. And, and you're going to see where that ranks. And it's going to start ranking in, in Google. If it's not on the third or fourth page, it, it'll start moving up and little by little just keep throwing link, links at it throw those embeds at it and you're going to start to see that you're going to see that rank all right so that's the first part so the second part is a lot easier a lot of the things that you're going to use that you used for trying to promote and rank your google your uh, youtube video are the same thing you're going to do to try to rank some of your directories and web 2.0s that are already created for you with or without your knowledge. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to check for, for uh, directories and web 2.0s and so on that you're already ranking for. So just put into Google your brand name. In this case, we're going to put one hour air. And after we put in one hour air, we see that we're already ranking in, in Yelp we already have a, a, a Yelp uh, a directory listing. So we want to try to promote that Yelp listing under our keyword AC Repair Tampa. What I would do is I would go into uh, Yelp and under my description, I would write a description for AC Repair Tampa. So once again, I would go over to iWriter. I would give them a sample content. I would let them know what keyword we were trying to rank for, and I would try to get some good content for my Yelp page. All right? Very, very simple. Something that I want to just explain, it's going kind of off target a little bit, but it's something really important, is that you have to remember something. Yelp has a very high trust score, meaning that Google trusts Yelp. It's one of the largest sites on the internet, and Google gives it a good trust rating, Yelp.com. So if you bring it over to a site called Majestic that, che that um, checks your trust, your trust score, you'll notice that Yelp has a trust rating of 75. However, when you create your listing on Yelp, so for example, yelp.com slash Scott's One Hour Air, that Yelp page now has a trust score of zero because just the main page, the main domain name, yelp.com, has that high trust score. So what we want to do, and that goes the same for your Manta, your YP Yellow, and any other, um, any other site that you're trying to create a subsite for, the main domain name will have a high ranking. What you need to do is you need to build up the trust score on, on your part of that site. So Yelp.com has a 75, but Yelp.com slash Scott's One Hour Air has a trust score of zero. So what we try to do is we try to build trusted links, press releases, um, social shares. We try to bring up the, the, 
the score of that directory page. In this case, we're speaking about Yelp, but it goes for, it goes for anything else. Now, I want you to understand something that maybe not my Yelp page, but I'm going to say my Manta page or some other type of directory. I'll go more aggressive with throwing links. In fact, I may throw five or 10,000 links at it because it's going to do one of two things. It's going to raise the trust score of, and I'm just using Manta as, a, as an example, manta.com slash one hour air, Scott's one hour air. It's either going to raise the trust factor of that page to something respectable like a 25 or a 30, or Manta is going to say, hey, something's going on and they're going to take down the page. Personally, I don't care. Take it down. <laughs> I don't care. Take it down. But if it does bring up the trust score, well, then if I put my website on that Manta page or on that Yelp page, that link juice is going to pass on to my website and it's going to make it even stronger. Those sites are what a lot of people call buffer sites, meaning that they're throwing the links, they're pointing the links at the Yelp.com slash Scott's one hour air, but they're not putting it, they're not putting the, the links directly to the money site, which is one hour air.com. So they're pointing it to the Yelp page. The Yelp page is getting stronger, getting bigger, getting more puffed out. The trust score is getting higher. And in turn, that link juice is being passed on to your website and it's making your website stronger. I think that Yelp is one of the most powerful directories and I don't like playing around with, with my Yelp page, throwing you know 10,000 links at it, pointing 10,000 links and doing all kinds of tricks with it because I don't want my Yelp page to be taken down. But I think you get the point. On other pages, you could do that. And also, you could set up a, a Facebook page, facebook.com slash AC Repair Tampa, and put content on that page and do the same thing. Point links at it. Do social shares. Write a press release. And all those, all those methods that I'm speaking to you about right now will help raise the ranking of these web 2.0s or these social sites or these directories and help you mon monopolize for that key term. So I want to show you who I use for um, a press release. I go over to Fiverr and I use this fella. I'll just circle it right here. I use this fella, uh, Am Ambient or uh, forget his name. But I, I use this, I'll just circle it. Um, I use this fella to write press releases. He does a great job. He, he writes them in, in 24 hours. And then I use a press release service that's a little bit better than the ones in Fiverr, but the ones in Fiverr are good enough. So once I have the press release written about my Yelp page or about my Facebook.com slash AC Repair Tampa, or about my Manta page, I get a press release written about that page, then I have it distributed to all, uh, all networks, all, all news outlets. And you get a report from the person who, and I'll, I'll put who I use for that once in a while when I use Fiverr for press releases. They do a good job. So you get the press release written about your Yelp page or about your Facebook page or about your Manta page and then you send it over to the press release distribution person and they send it out to all local uh, networks. Then once again, you wanna throw links at it. You could be a little more aggressive on some of the directories that you don't really care about. You don't want your Facebook page shut down. So don't go crazy throwing you know, 10,000 links at your Facebook page. But you, know, you could build some links to it. You could do a press release to it. And then you could do your social shares. And what you want to do is each week, you want to go to Google, type in your keyword in this place, in this, um, in this example, you, we're using AC Repair Tampa. And you want to see 
on the second, third, fourth page, if your directories, your Facebook page, your, your, your YouTube videos, are they heading in the right direction? Are they heading towards one? It should probably take about 60 days. Now, I want you to just understand something. I probably should have said this in the beginning, is that you're not going to rank for California lawyer. Okay? You're not going to rank for New York lawyer or Chicago lawyer, right? You may... You'll probably rank for Sacramento, a smaller town in California, or St. Petersburg, Florida, or Brooklyn lawyer, right? But because there's so much competition in the big states, I wouldn't waste my time doing this method for, for a big state. And maybe I should have said this earlier. But you could do it for smaller towns. So think about some of the small towns that you want to hit. The competition's really, um, you know, it's, it's, it's good. It's good to moderate. But if you're aggressive, creating YouTube videos using that keyword, pumping up your Yelp page and getting that ranked for that keyword, and your Manta Merchant Circle and so on and so forth, and you use that keyword with a link back to your Yelp page, for example, you're going to rank that Yelp page. So when somebody types in AC Repair Tampa, they're not only going to see your website, they're going to see your YouTube video, they're going to see your Yelp page, they're going to see your Facebook page. And what are we in turn doing? We're knocking out our competition because Google only lists the first 10 listings. And if I could have four or five, then I'm the best choice for that keyword that somebody's looking for. It shows that, that I'm more popular and more of my sites are ranking in the top 10. I have a better uh, chance of capturing that client. I hope you guys liked this video. I really hope that it, it helped. I, I'm sure that some of my ideas may bring on other ideas by you and you, you may be able to uh, either improve it or, or use, it for your, uh, use it for your business. That's, that's why I did it. It is a lot of work. If you feel like you can't do it or you don't want to do it or you don't have time to do it, you don't have the staff to do it, please get in touch with me. I'd love to do it for you. I have everything already set in place. But if not, if you want to do it, I've given you all the steps. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. And give it about 60 days. I'm sure you're going to knock at least two or three of your competition out of that keyword if you could rank your sites. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this. Once again, my name is Brett Maletta. I'm from MindSaw. Uh, if you ever want to give us a call, uh, the phone number is 718 227 2300 and my email address is my name brett moletta at gmail.com feel free to get in touch with me anytime and uh, please subscribe to this video and give it a like and put some comments on there let me know what you think and uh, i look forward to making the next video uh, have some good ideas that I think, uh, some different ideas that I think you might enjoy. Have a great day.